Hey, Summit, this is Edward, and you know this guy, Jake. Weekly update coming at you right now. We've got uh, quite a bit going on, Jake. Nice, cool, crisp morning this morning, so I'm glad you're joining us. If it's a Sunday morning, we're so glad you're here. Uh, got I wonder a, if it'll be cool, crisp morning on Sunday. It's going to be cool. It's not going to be crisp. So be like this. Uh, no, I think okay. I think uh, we're going back to the uh, oh. summer mode here okay. for the next few days. 80 degrees this afternoon and uh, close to 90 this weekend. So uh, it's not going right. to hit. It's not going to hit 90, but it's going to be close. So it was 31 yesterday, and it'll be in the 80s by the weekend. Yeah, absolutely. Hey, uh, this Sunday got several things going on. We got uh, women facing cancer. Uh, happening this Sunday. So if you are a part of that or you're here this morning to be a part of that, we're so glad you're here. Meeting in uh, generations after the service. Generations. It's going to be a great deal. I heard a great testimony last week from Kristen. Uh, this is Breast Cancer Awareness Month. And so that's why we were sharing that last week. Also to just raise awareness uh, of these women that are facing this. So uh, be praying for them and uh That'll be this Sunday. Also, uh, membership. Membership right? this Sunday in room A101 in the back hall. Uh, it's it's open. I know some, some of you have already signed up and told me you're going to be there. But if you're visiting this morning or if you're coming on Sunday, depending on when you're watching this video, you can come right on in. No signups required or anything. You don't have to. It's not. You're not necessarily saying I'm taking this to be a member this is, you're going to find out who we are. We go over our, our statements, our strategy, and our structure as a church. Vision, mission, ministry environments, everything that we're about. Kind of expectations, uh, what <clears throat> you can expect from us, what we kind of expect as members uh, of our church. Great class, Joe and you, two of our elders mm -hmm. uh, teach that. Great Q&A time, too. You can ask some questions back and forth. So if you've been visiting, trying to figure out uh, if you want to plant here with us, this is a great way to learn more. Just because you take the class, Jake, doesn't mean you're automatically a member. Uh, there's paperwork we kind of fill out and that kind of stuff to learn your testimony, your story, um, all that good stuff. Speaking of story, um, had that testimony last Sunday. Also, Jake, we're planning a new series uh, next year in February, just to kind of give you uh, what's coming. Uh, we're going to have a whole month of story, uh, people sharing their stories uh, based kind of on this whole idea of the secrets we keep. We're only uh -oh. as sick as the secrets we keep. And so we're going to be sharing stories of freedom that people oh, are, nice. have walked through. So I'm real excited about that. We're working on that right now, uh, bringing people in, sharing their stories. I got a story about freedom that might fit with this series. Uh, a month ago, my son turned 16, got his driver's license and his car. Now he takes Ainsley to school every morning, so I'm free to sleep late. Don't have to worry about running them all over town. He's doing a lot of that for us. So I'm feeling some freedom Great there. Freedom. Great freedom. Feels good. Uh, I saw That's him. kind of where you're going with this, right? I mean, yeah. if you need me to share more on a Sunday morning, I'd be... Yeah, I saw him drive by last night. Yeah. Uh, the car was bumping. Oh, he's was jamming, playing. man. He's was, jamming uh, his something. tunes. Hey, this is another good thing coming up. It's our, our biggest outreach we do of the year, uh, Fall Festival, uh, where a couple thousand people are on our campus. It's a carnival and just type for, thing. And that's just for setup. When the actual event starts, it's going to be like twenty to 30,000. That's my line. That's my line. Hey, well, seriously, a couple thousand people come to our church. Uh, this is a multiple church event that we join together with other churches. Uh, we turn our whole building into basically a, a carnival of uh, mm -hmm. games and uh, bounce houses, chili, live, TV, music. live music, there are more. So here's here's a couple of needs that we have. We still have about 15 uh, volunteers that we need to run games. Uh, all you have to do is basically run that game, hand out candy as kids come by. So if you've not signed up yet, get signed up this Sunday. Uh, you can sign up in the foyer. There's a table set up under the big TV right in the foyer. Uh, all the uh, available games are still there. We'll also be setting up our building and then tearing down our building. So uh, it's kind of a two-part process on that Sunday, October the 30th at the end of the service. Uh, we will basically take every chair out of the auditorium, pull everything, hang signs, all that. Need about seven people on that. And then that night when it's over, we're going to tear everything down and kind of reset the building. And there will be uh, about seven people we're going to need for that as well. It goes really quick. It, it, and we all jump in and we'll take more than seven. Yeah, we'll take uh, 77. Yeah, I mean, it's 77 it's, times seven, as Jesus said, or something like that. That's how many we'll take. 
Hmm. I'm always bringing the word, Crouch. Yeah. So anyway, get get the, um, if, if you can be a part of that, you can sign up for that as well um, on that. What else we got, Jake? Man, nothing. Hey, it's almost time. What's time? Almost basketball season. It is almost basketball season. Um, NBA I, started this week. Did they really? Colleges are practicing. High school will be right around the corner. Wow. No. I, like, I like basketball. Yeah, I'm not a big basketball fan. I don't really watch it. Um, football is my thing. Oh, okay. I love football. I like football. So we Tennessee beat Alabama last like weekend. Football. That was a good thing right there. Good yeah. thing. Good thing. Hey, Summit, I wanted to just let you know that our staff and elders, we have been carefully planning the next season of ministries. You know, uh, this is a season where we're working on budgets and giving and all the things that we get to do at Summit Heights in our community. And I want to invite you uh, weekly, we do this almost weekly to be a part of our mission, and that's to connect people to God and others. Bottom line uh, relationship. is relationship. Everything we do is about relationship in this community, in our church, around the world. Uh, I, I was reading this last week. Proverbs three nine says, "The honor the Lord with your wealth and the first fruits of all of your produce." And when we give financially, uh, we not only uh, trust God to provide for us, because we do trust Him, and He's been so good to us, but also to multiply our gifts and for us to be wise in what we do. And your generosity has equipped us to reach the world uh, with the hope of the gospel that we get to share. Since August, almost 21 people have been baptized at uh, Summit. Just incredible opportunity for all ages, no matter if you're a child or all the way up until uh, if you're a senior adult, that we provide ways to minister to people of all ages, all backgrounds, and your generosity and your sacrificial giving, we're able to feed the hungry, uh, in fact, this season coming up in uh, November and December, we we spend a lot of resources on helping people uh, during this season, not only with the angel tree that'll be coming up in December, but just people walking through our door on a weekly basis to support families and extend God's love to our community. And so I want to say this, if you want to partner with Summit Heights, maybe you listen online, you don't get to attend uh, in person because you're somewhere um, uh, not local, we would invite you and we would be incredibly grateful to you if you want to join with us and partner with us. And you can uh, click the link uh, on uh, our website and give, or you can text SHFTX to 77977 and uh, make a gift. And if it's a one-time gift, we are so grateful for that investment in what we're doing here in this community. If you want to set up a reoccurring gift, you can also do that. Uh, and man, we would be so grateful for that ongoing investment. And so I would just say thank you. I, I want to remind you that because this is a this is a new season coming in with what's going on in our world and our economy. Uh, we keep moving. We keep giving. We keep ministering in this community. And it's your generosity that allows us to do that. So thank you. Uh, I know we're about to worship. Uh, if this is Sunday morning, I know if you're getting this on Thursday, um, just uh, thank you for being a part of that investment. And we couldn't, we can't do what we do in this community without your faithful giving. So um Thank you on that. Jake, what else we got? Anything? Your three-legged pug has been laying on my foot this entire video. That's awesome. Hey, Summit, we love you. We're so glad that you're uh, joining us. We hope you have a great weekend, and uh, we look forward to seeing you uh, this Sunday as we gather to worship together. Uh, it, it's going to be a great, great Sunday. We love you, and uh, make sure you share this on all your platforms. Get the word out of what's going on. Those volunteers needed for Fall Festival, cancer support, membership. Uh, man, it's going to be a great, great uh, next couple of weeks. We love you. Have a great day.